Hello and welcome to the Critically Curious. I'm Monk, and today we are doing a first reactions video to, uh, or first thoughts video to King Arthur and Knight's Tower. Now, I was uh, pleased to actually receive a key for this. This has literally just had its day one full release, uh, and I'm currently playing it on Steam. Um, I know, and. Yes. This is just after um, kind of like the first tutorial area. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good good idea to kind of hit record and kind of chat with you guys um, as we're as we're playing the game. Looks like it looks like we've got an option to actually get another another character in the game, which is pretty cool. This is a dark fantasy turn-based RPG. It does look quite fun, I have to admit. I love King Arthur stuff, so uh, I'm hoping this. Uh, I'm hoping good, big, big things for this game. Sir Mordred, the rumors are true. Then you have returned. I'm only following my knightly oath by protecting the innocent. The nearby village is plagued by these brigands, and I must stop them. So you are truly taking King Arthur's place in Camelot, recruiting knight. You should find my brother. He would be a great fit to your dark court. Finally, you committed a murder that you should not regret. I kind of like that they said my dark court. Like, I literally just had an Death option and had a decision, one or two things that I could have done. And I think I chose the bad side, which is kind of, you know, what I kind of like playing as um, in, these sort of, uh, in these sort of in these sort of games. We get those kind of, you know, uh, morality options. Um Curse yeah, I'm I'm liking what anyway, I've been playing so far my for sure. Father believed in Arthur's creed that a knight is defined by the deeds, not by the land. You are not the only one looking for him. Something terrible happens to Avalon, and people need guidance. The ship that brought him to Avalon reached shore beyond the Bridge of Sorrows. I would start looking for him there in the Whispering Cove. That's what my father told me and my brother. Anyway, our goals are the same. I'll accompany you. So we did get another one to accompany us. That's kind of awesome. I love the fact that as we're playing through this game, we're recruiting uh, more and more knights. Uh, it also has permadeath as well. So that kind of, it constantly reminds you, you know, there's permadeath. Make sure everyone survives um, the level. So that's kind of cool I, I i do like the idea of permadeath in a turn-based game i cover empire of sin quite often on my channel and that also has the permadeath um so very familiar with that do love turn-based combat games this is um don't play too many set in this era though you know without guns for instance so it's going to be interesting to see just how this game plays out what kind of interactions you get with it um, just how strong magic's going to be because I'm assuming magic's going to be in this. This is like a dark fantasy um, game. So yeah, interesting. I also really like this. It has so much voice acting in as well. Wasn't expecting it to be fair. And um, this part is just before like a bigger battle or just before a battle, I get to put my knights, my units, um, where I want them and position them. Not a round the battlefield because most of it's cut out, but in the highlighted area, I get to place them down. So I, I think that's kind of cool. Um, we're going to try and split up a little bit. My guys seem to be vastly overpowering these guys. At least at the moment, any combat I've kind of face has been pretty easy. I think it's because I'm still uh, obviously early in the game. Plan on normal difficulty. But I think we can... Oh, this guy just... Yeah, that's a shame. This guy has... I've got, by the looks of it, like 2 AP or movement, but... I can't quite... Um, get close enough to make an attack. You have to excuse uh, the mechanics as well. If I seem a little clunky, it's probably me rather than the game. Not used to playing on PC. Normally, I'm a console player. 
Um, this is actually one of my first goes at playing on a PC, so just recently upgraded. Let's get this guy down here, get him closer. And as everyone decided to try and mob my main guy, we can go ahead and do some decent damage. Look at that cleave. Wow. One go. I quite like that. Okay, flip over. Getting shot in the back. But as you can see, like it doesn't seem to be hurting me too much, which is pretty cool. We can take a hit, which is all good. Who's this? Oh, is she an ally? I think we've got another ally, guys. That's kind of cool. The first thoughts at the moment, I really like the combat. I mean, it's very familiar. There isn't too much of a tutorial in this game, which I was a little bit surprised about. Um, yeah, not too much of a tutorial, but I guess I'm familiar with uh, with turn-based games anyway. Um, but it's pretty simple, pretty standard. I think the game does a you know, pretty good job at getting things done. I wonder if we actually get to recruit this guy now. Oh, hold on. You really don't have to thank me. I'm Lady Dindrain, the Lord's chosen seeker of the Holy Grail. Aren't you helpful? I wish I had thought of that earlier. Do I know them? Yes, you can say so. Percival is my brother. A Percival? That's interesting. Percival was actually, you know, one of the legendary knights of the round table. Galahad it's kind of cool. I like the well, uh, attention to detail. Trust me when I say that he is truly lost. No, I'm alone in my holy quest. It is my trial by fire. No, I'm looking for redemption in this hellhole, Tread Knight. No, sir. I'm hunting down their leader, the Marauder Knight hiding in a ruined tower. The good Lord sent you then. I'm always glad to have some walking shields around me. Let's go. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we recruited a number one right now. I quite like that. Listening to what she had to say, it kind of feels that... Um, I'm going to end up losing some companions depending on my choices as well. I feel like the morality, the morality system is going to kick into place. So if I'm bad, the good characters aren't going to want to side with me. Um, but that's just a theory. I, I, you know, I haven't obviously played nowhere near enough of this yet. Um, just having a little look-see around for some treasure and things like that. I have found that there have been a few times where I've gone to interact with different objects, which I'm sure I should be able to, you know, interact with playing different games. Um, however, I've been unable to interact with them. So uh, looking for that kind of whenever you can interact with it, it seems to highlight. So that's what I'm kind of looking for. So we just done a prayer as well, and we got some help. I wanted to mention that in case you didn't realize what just happened there. And what's this? Um, campfire? What can we do? We can... Oh, okay, so we can heal some armor. I think I think we'll do that. I think we'll heal some armor. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I went with armor because, I mean, we've got a decent amount of armor and that seems to be protecting our health. So I think it's armor, then health first. Um, so... And protecting our armor is a this is good idea. This must be the hiding. big battle, the Let's big showdown. It looks pretty cool. Um, I quite like the fact that we're fighting in castle ruins, you know. I think it adds to, uh, adds to the gameplay for sure. It fits in with, with what it's hoping to achieve. I wonder if this is going to be, you know, as big a fight as it potentially looks. We've got four people now, though. I'm... Pretty stoked about that. Three knights, one archer. I'm I think we can do something there. I think I'm going to keep uh, one of these knights, the first knight I ever picked up, real so close to my main guy. And then we're going to have the one with the big axe. I have him wander on his own, possibly. He seems pretty strong and capable. So, And then we'll have the archer bring up the rear. That's the idea, anyway. 
Oosh. That must be the main knight. He has a lot of armor. Okie dokie. I wonder if we can completely flank him. Oh, we got hurt. We got hurt then as we passed. I have to keep that in mind. Don't pass too close to an enemy. I mean, if they've got a melee attack, that makes sense. So, that's kind of cool. That's really interesting. So, we can't use our arrows uh, on the main guy because... Our own characters are blocking that path, so, you know, my character doesn't have line of sight, so she won't fire the arrow. Um, so I had to find an alternative route. That's, that's cool, that's cool, I like that. I'm just kind of learning the mechanics, you know, as 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 we're playing. Obviously different um, turn-based games have different rules and stuff, so... Big fan of XCOM, you know, recently done a review for XCOM again. Um, absolutely boss turn-based combat game, I think. Every turn-based game kind of has to look to XCOM to where the line is to determine if you're a good game or not. Um, but playing through this, you know, I've played possibly close to an hour um, into the game at this point, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it, guys. Absolutely enjoying it. This is a game that I ha I've had my eye on for a while. I've done a video on it already on the channel. Um, but I'm glad it's finally out. I'm glad it's finally on release. There is word this thing's coming to console as well. So it's going to be a game that I'm going to be playing and pushing videos on the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy this game as much as I think I'm going to enjoy this game. Um, I will pop a review out maybe in a couple of days when I've played it you know, a little bit more. This seems like it's going to be a big, big game. So I want to kind of get a feel for it before I actually put out a review. And, you know, recommend it or don't recommend it. But at first thoughts, guys, I'm very much looking forward to um, playing the rest of this game. So uh, I believe I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of this combat uh, and end it. But I've been a monk. We've been a critically curious. If you, you know, enjoy what you're watching, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm going to put more videos of this on the channel. Um, and if you happen to already play in it, you know, give me tips, give me tips, uh, comment down below, you know, what I should keep in mind going forward. But uh, until next time, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. And of course, happy gaming. At your service, my lord. Take them for For king and country. Command? It seems I was wrong about you, Mordred.